Hello loves and welcome to Bree's Project Book Christmas Home Tour. We are going to start in the foyer. My idea for decorating this room was to create several gorgeous vignette spaces at each corner of the room, with pops of red on one side and pops of silver on the other to form a cohesive holiday space. So the first thing you see when you step through the front door into the foyer is this beautiful pops of red here in the corner. This year, I didn't want to decorate the iron banister because it took away for what I really wanted you to see and that's this area right here. This trumpet was originally brass. Rubbin buffed it silver, but I also buffed off in areas that your hands would be placed when you play the trumpet so it can show that it's been used. And you can see that here, uh, the fingers would go and you can see there's look like it's been rubbed off. Certain areas of the trumpet, it is shiny and other areas is dull, but every now and again, you will see that brass come through slightly. And I thought it looked very, very nice. Gives it a lot of character, although the trumpet has character anyway, but it just really, really showcased it once I did that. And then below that, to really pop that trumpet, I put some gorgeous red roses here. But what I done is I spread the roses and sprinkled it with silver glitter. Then we come down to these, this pick here, this spray that I added some of these ornaments that you will see later on in the room and some pine cones and berries. And then we have the frosted pick. So I think this area right here is gorgeous by itself. It is a beautiful vignette and it showcases this trumpet and also the theme of my Christmas decor this year. the trumpet you will see this beautiful bouquet of roses and also I mimic that look but I also added some glittered picks or ice picks and that really really pops those roses uh, I could have used poinsettias I didn't want to do that this year I wanted something different and I thought the roses did a great great job and the pedestal when it's lit like this and it's dark outside Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. And I will show you how things look um, at nighttime. Now, many of you have seen this chair before. This is one of my favorite pieces of furniture, this beautiful leather red chair. And all I done was place this Jim's pillow here right behind the chair. Everybody's familiar with Mr. Smith. I needed something a height to go in between the chair and the bottom of the art piece. And Mr. Smith does the job as usual. The first tree in my home is all silver in the foyer. I wanted this simple, but I wanted it amazing. So we start here at the top. The top is filled with frosted picks, as many as I can get here to form a nice topper. But on the side of the topper, there's this huge bow with very, very long tails that curls and swirls around the tree. The tree is just filled with silver ornaments. There are about a hundred on this tree. Right here at the center of the tree, you see another beautiful large bow, but this bow introduced an instrument ornament that you will see in other areas of the room. And then there are those long, long, beautiful tails this fall, wherever they may. Behind the tree, you see this beautiful spray of pine picks, bows, and pine cones, and a silver ornament. And I just wanted a corner area here to decorate on this window. So you can do it just as small like this, or you can get pretty large with it. 
So here's the other side of the room. And I love this area, it's silver. The silvers and black and white is prominent on this side of the room. But there is a pop of red. So we're going to start right behind the door. There is Mrs. Smith right next into these vases that I staggered to give it a nice vignette of three. Then we come to the window ledge. So many things that you can do on your window ledge and it's such an unexpected decorating area of the home and I really wanted to showcase it. So here we are, we have these sprays of picks just like on the other side. So I decorated this corner here with an abundant of frosted picks, pine cones, and abundant of loops of the silver ribbon here and it's just gorgeous and I love how the picks just fall off the ledge there this show is such lush and abundance of greenery here so that we not only have a beautiful greenery but a pop of color that beautiful red there and we have a nice little lettering stand of believe that I love the lettering on it's so gorgeous I think it looks so so nice on this window ledge. Such a beautiful way to display for Christmas. Kimberly from Diva Designing on a Dime, my girl. We did a collaboration together and it was the fourth annual Family Traditions and Tablescape. And I introduced this tablescape here, one of two, and I just love it. So if you really want to check out the details of it, uh, I will link that video in the iCard above, but my goodness, look at the bling. Just blinged out, and this mirror really makes it double the, the bling because it's reflecting even more. And uh, here is another vignette in this corner of three. We have this glittered pine cone and this lamp and this gorgeous clock. And as you come to the center, there's another spray of gorgeous greenery. I also added a pop of uh, ice picks and then you see this ribbon now this ribbon will be displayed throughout my decor so it's just like I said the foyer is a place where I introduce uh, what to expect in my home for Christmas and then another display of three this vignette on this side gorgeous 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 we have more pine cones, those Dollar Tree DIY stands that I did here. If you haven't seen that, I will link that in the iCard. And look at those branches, those frosted branches just falls off to the side there. Gorgeous. I just love this area of the room. Okay, so now we're done with the right side of the foyer, but if you turn you will see we have a hallway. So that's where we're going to check out now. Now this hallway is right next to the powder room. This door right here is the powder room, but it is linked to the foyer. And I wanted it to be a continuous with the decor. So we have this red bench here. We have that glittered pillow that was on the chair. And we also have a gift bag full of those gorgeous roses that you've seen on the pedestal in the foyer. So this is what we did with this area. I really wanted to catch the eye. It's right in the corner of your eye when you get ready to come into this room, but it is there. And I just love how it looks in this area. Beautiful, but simple. So now we left the foyer. We are up on the first floor. And here's where the lady lounge is and the kitchen. So I'm just giving you an overview of how everything looks up here. And then we will go in the kitchen area. So we are in the kitchen area next to the sink where you see this single vignette here of this gorgeous large candle with the diamond wrap and put it inside this huge cylinder vase. Right down at the bottom is the story stopper here. These are abundant of frosted picks but they also have ice picks in them and I try to fill it as much as I can of ice picks without taking away too much a standalone beauty. Oh, 
Okay, so panning around, you come to the island. This is Tablescape number, number two in the collaboration with Kim, the family traditions and Tablescape. And my goodness, that's all I have to say. This is the most bling I ever done in my life. <laughs> But my goodness, it is astounding. Simply transfixed when you look at this. It's so much bling and so much luxury in this one table than any of the tables i ever done since I've been doing these videos on YouTube. And I have to tell you, this has definitely topped it off. But not just that. Look at the luxury. Everything in here is just plush. We have the ornaments and pine cones and then this runner is simply gorgeous i made this diy with some material from joanne some velvet materials and diamond wrap at the end of the runner but not just that it doesn't stop there my friends no it comes down to this place setting and look at the shine and the glam that same diamond wrap on the placemat the same on the runner and my goodness, just simply beautiful. Simply beautiful. And it doesn't stop there. We come down to the chairs and we have the same material on the pillows. And then on the back of the chairs, we have even more glam. Those beautiful glass ball ornaments dangling on the back of the chairs. If you want to know any details about this, I will put it in the iCard above and you can check it out. So we're going to pan around again going toward the cafe table and you can see that it has the same decor as the kitchen sink counter and that's all it needs because this candle is so huge the cylinder vase is huge and we have diamond picks in here pine cones um, berries and it's just shine 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 a whole bunch of shine so as you go up these stairs from the foyer, you will see the ladies' lounge, or many would say the den. And flanking the fireplace are these beautiful trees. This is the showstopper for the room. This starts off the theme of my Christmas this year, Breeze Jazzy Christmas, and you will see why in a moment. If you haven't seen the video of how I decorated these slim trees, then I will link it in the iCard above. This is a beautiful, beautiful tree. And it's one of my best things that I have for my Christmas decor. I have instruments here. I have notes. I have musical ribbon and musical postcards and musical ornaments. It's such a beautiful tree and it's gorgeous when it's lit up. So if you're interested in see how I decorated this, just click the i card above and it will check it out. I also have a video on how I did my tree box. I will also link that in the i card if you're interested. So these are two trees flank the fireplace. And right in the center of the fireplace, right above it, you will see the musical sheet that I, I decorated with many, many times. And I thought it was perfect for this theme. The only thing is I didn't want this one. I was had in mind to create another one, but they did not have the thick metal frame that I was looking for that goes um, horizontally across this uh, fireplace. If I get a chance to create the art that I want to go here, then I'll do another video if it's not too late in the Christmas season. But basically I was mimicking this postcard for the artwork that would go in the center of this fireplace right above the fireplace but it didn't work out that way they ran out of the frame and they didn't know when they would have any left so we have to wait on that and see right below the frame in between the two trees is this table i love this console table but i love how i decorated it with the faux mink blanket that's thrown on half of it and kind of haphazardly puddles down to the floor i think it shows so much lux lux and so much glam here when i did that and i just love it right here in front of the fireplace on top of the console table, you'll see some gift boxes. These are actually gift boxes with presents in them. I decorated them in musical wrapping paper and also this beautiful black 
joy ribbon that I just love. I think it's gorgeous. It goes perfectly with the, the wrapped musical paper and it really pops that box. So we have a couple of gift boxes there. As we go across, we have another gift box with a large bow. This is a smaller gift box. And then we have another musical uh, decor item here that I decorated just with a few sprigs of greenery and that ice branch that you've seen throughout the decor so far. And I think this is a beautiful vignette on top of the console table. Then we go on the second shelf. The second shelf is another beautiful sprig of greenery that I tied in some ice branches, some ornaments, and pine cones. And then we have a DIY vase that you have seen. If you have not seen that DIY, I didn't do a video on that DIY. I think I just basically showed you cameo film of it in different videos. But I do have a video. I have not put it together yet. So if you're interested in seeing how I DIY this vase, let me know. And then I will go ahead and put that together. So below that we have larger gift boxes and that I have a musical ribbon bow tied on top and these also have gifts in them. I think this area between the trees is gorgeous. I love the way it flanked the trees and I love the way it looks in front of the fireplace. It's not too much and it's not um, too little. I think it's just right and I just love how it looks. Okay, so we're going to start on the window side of the room. Before I start, I want to share with you my concept. What I tried to do here, since this is an open area, pick each element from different areas of the room and make sure they kind of flow throughout the rooms. And that way that keeps it cohesive. So, for instance, this window here, the window treatment was a DIY that my husband did. And I used the material and the, the diamond wrap the same as I did for the runner on the island styling and the placemat. To ground the window, since it doesn't have a curtain, I use a simple spray on the windowsill, the same kind of style that's in the foyer. But there is no ribbon and there is no ornament. It's just a simple spray just to ground the window. To add that bling element to the couch, I used the pillow that I used on the island styling and I wrapped it with diamond wrap so it will flow from the valance down to the settee. The idea for this Christmas 2018 decor came from these three vases right here. The metallic gray paint and the diamond wrap. I did a lot of DIYs for this Christmas and these is, is a couple of them. The vases is a DIY and also the stands. If you're interested in the stands, I will put it in the iCard above. If you're interested how I put together this coffee tablescape, I will put that in the iCard above. <music> Across from the coffee table, we have two club chairs. These chairs are one of my favorite furniture, pieces of furniture here. And what I did is just adorn them with some faux mink pillows. These faux mink pillows matches the faux mink on the console table on the other side of the room. This video is dedicated to my mom. She always made the holiday special. Love you, beautiful. Also, I want to thank you all for making this a successful and enjoyable year. You are the best. Merry Christmas to you and your family, and happy holidays. I'll see you in 2019 with some great videos and new ideas I'm very excited to share. See you soon. If you love DIYs, decorating, organizing, and so much more, click the subscribe button and click the bell for new videos notification every week. Smooches!
sorry love I thought I had the evening tour of this video but I lost it somehow so that means I had to wait to evening to retape it that means that you won't see this video at its regular time at 3 30 it will be later so I hope you enjoyed and I apologize and I'll see you guys in 2019